When I bought this little estate in 1976, this house was derelict and within one month of being demolished. And I just thought, what a pity, and it would make a really nice base for a field study centre. Aegis is a field centre. Now within that, there are three different elements. It's a combination of an education programme for schools, um, a nature conservation project based activity and then an ecotourism project on the top of it. We've been working in nature conservation for many years on all sorts of different projects. We have a beaver project, we've got a red squirrel project and other things. And the Scottish wildcat is Britain's one of Britain's rarest mammals. It's certainly Britain's most threatened mammal, I think, at the moment. The Aegis Scottish Wildcat Captive Breeding Project has been running since 2011. Now we are part of a nationwide action plan to try and help save the population. We have several breeding pairs of wildcats on site and those individuals are part of a collection of 50 wider individuals across the UK that are helping to boost the population of, of wildcats. We don't know how many there are out there. There could be 100, there could be 200, but uh, I suspect there aren't any because I think that they're almost all going to be hybrids of some sort. They are cousins of the, the African wildcat, which is the ancestor of the domestic cats and unfortunately domestic cats and wild cats have hybridized which means they can breed and produce fertile offspring and this has proven to be the biggest threat to the survival of the Scottish wild cat. We are struggling to find a 100% pure Scottish wild cat. We don't even know what the population in the wild of wildcats is. It could be anything as low as 95 individuals of which as I say, we just don't know if there is, is a pure wildcat out there, which is why Aegis has embarked on this captive breeding project. All the cats within the, the captive breeding project have to be genetically tested to find out their purity. Thankfully, our cats are over the threshold, which is above 75%, so ours sit between 88 and 89%. And that means that they can go on to breed and hopefully produce good offspring that can then be moved around the captive population and over time the diversity of those genetics will increase. We just have to hope that by careful captive breeding we can breed the wild cat back into the stock and then by process of soft release we can re-establish them in the wild in suitable habitat.